By now you know the message on Beacon and Patience. This is a high resistance series to plasmothera adduxans, which is what causes impatience downy mildew. You know that message. Today we're going to highlight a few important key details that we want to call out with our experience in Beacon in the marketplace. First, we have to say that we've gotten tons of stories this year of people planting in May and having full color all summer long, all the way till fall. That's great performance for the consumer. So we're bringing back a known plant that consumers love and making it thrive again in the garden for the consumer. This also is helpful for growers because we're bringing back something that they already know how to grow. You can grow a beacon and patience like a super elf and look at the uniformity across all the colors that we have here on the bench in the six packs. It's easy for growers to produce this. So we're bringing something that they know back to the market. We want to highlight to you that we have a brand new formula mix for 2022. You can see it here in the hanging basket. So that's something new and exciting to talk about with your customers. Now we need to discuss again and just mention that, remember, Beacon is not immune. This series was bred to have high genetic resistance to impatience downy mildew, but it's not immune. So there are two circumstances we want to call out where fungicides might be appropriate for a grower to use. You know, if your plants are being produced where there's impatience currently growing in the landscape, and then you're going to ship it to a different region, there might be a need for a preventative fungicide. And also, if you're receiving plants from a region where impatience are being currently grown in the landscape while they're producing plugs or finished product, there could be a need for some fungicides at a preventative level. So just remember that, that it's not immune. Now we want to showcase to you what a healthy beacon impatience plant looks like. What you're seeing on the screen is really a plant that's happy, healthy. It has that high genetic resistance. The next picture shows what a typical impatience looks like when it has no resistance to impatience downy mildew. You can see the difference. And when we look at the underside of the leaf, these are some of the signs that would show you that in downy mildew is set into the crop. Now I really want to get into something exciting. We can take beacon further into the garden and further into different applications at retail with all these new mixes that we have. We're just going to highlight a few of the things that really worked well in our trial here. We had single flower Zahara with all different colors of beacon and patience. We've got a yellow here and really both, this is a sun item. So this would only be relevant in places where the beacon would take full sun, but there are applications for that. There's a lot of exciting shade mixes that are going to have a lot of great uses. That's where we can really push the boundaries. So we've confirmed that beacon and patience, really all the colors would work with glitz euphorbia as a nice mix. Then we can move on and we've confirmed that beacon and patience really works well with Kong Jr. for coleus. Lots of different applications here where with this green halo with violet and orange, like look at how much that pops at the retail garden center, how well that's going to show up in the shade. Such great combos. So there's a lot more coleus here, different ideas. Some over here we put a grass in, but another one that really got me excited is to have griffin begonia with a beacon and patience. And really you could put any color beacon in there with, with the griffin begonia. So now if we keep going over here, we've got some other exciting combos to talk about over here. We, we were really successful with hypoestis and a grass in the center with different colors of beacon and patience. So another new way to display beacon at the retail area. And another combo that has a sun component. So lighthouse purple, lighthouse red, both worked with beacon and patience. Obviously this would be in, for a setting where beacon is gonna thrive in full sun. So a lot of really exciting combination op opportunities here, mostly focused on the shade because that's where Beacon's really gonna thrive. But these look so good at, in a retail environment, they're gonna fly off the shelves and get customers excited. So remember that new formula mix and remember Beacon can go further with combos now.